shoulder MRI cases for the FRCS fiber. 76 year old male presents with a lump on the shoulder. You see it best on the soft tissue image on the top right hand side. What other features do you see on this x-ray? Presents for an MRI. Google ACJ ganglion or Giza sign. A 45 year old male falls off his bicycle at speed, has fixation around the time of his injury and presents three months later, struggling to get his arm above shoulder height. What is the significance in terms of the fixation of this small fragment? What is the differential? Why can't he get his arm above shoulder height? Here are the MRI scans at uh, three months. What is the diagnosis? Did you see the increased signal on the water images, the protein density fat saturated images, the T2 images, the edema within supraspinatus and infraspinatus, suggesting acute denervation of supraspinatus or infraspinatus. In other words, an acute injury to the suprascapular nerve. Did you see the anatomy was normal on the coronal T1s with no cuff tears? Acute denervation of supraspinatus and infraspinatus due to a suprascapular nerve injury. 21 year old gets knocked off a bicycle, motorcycle and sustains this injury. What do you see? What do you think might be injured? How would you classify it? For me, it's a near two-part anterior fracture dislocation with a fracture of the greater tuberosity. He gets reduced in theatres and there's his radiographs at one week and radiographs at eight weeks showing healing of the greater tuberosity, but is unable to elevate his arm past 30 degrees. What is your differential? Here is his MRI.
Replay the images if you need. What do you think of the greater tuberosity? What do you think of the supraspinatus muscle and tendon? Why can't he elevate his arms? Did you notice the increased signal on the T2 images, the protein density fat suppressed images within the deltoid, within teres minor? Did you see the greater tuberosity healed with minimal displacement on the uh, proximal humerus, supraspinatus tendon and muscle in continuity? You saw the edema within deltoid and teres minor. Do you see edema anywhere else? Yes, edema within the lower part of subscapularis and teres major, suggesting injury to the lower subscapular nerve. Is this a posterior cord injury? And why not? This image may help you. We see edema within deltoid, edema within teres minor, which represents auxiliary nerve. We see edema within teres major, but the signal within long head of triceps is normal, suggesting it's not posterior cord, but two isolated injuries to auxiliary nerve and lower subscapular nerve. 55-year-old male presents with a two-month history of progressive shoulder pain and elevation above 70 degrees on further questioning, it suggests his symptoms began four to five months ago. What do you think of the x-ray? An AP and lateral scapular view, to my view, I is normal. Due to deformity and lack of elevation, he gets a CT in the ED thinking it may be dislocated. What did you see? Here are the MRI images. What's the diagnosis? How long has this process been going on for? Did you notice the fat atrophy within supraspinatus and infraspinatus, suggesting chronicity to this pathology? The normal anatomy on the coronal images, no significant supraspinatus or infraspinatus tear. The edema has subsided on your protein density fat suppression images. This is chronic denervation of supraspinatus and infraspinatus due to chronic compression or injury to the suprascapular nerve. 
Google cafeter arthropathy. AC joint ganglion or geyser sign. Think about the coracloclavicular ligaments when fixing these lateral third clavicle fractures. Read about acute muscle denervation and edema involving the suprascapular nerve. The near classification. Brachial plexus and associated nerves. Two isolated injuries to axillary nerve and lower subscapular nerve. Did you notice on the soft tissue window on the sagittal images on the CT you could see the fat atrophy of supraspinatus and infraspinatus? The Guttalia index was initially done on CTs. And the evidence of chronic fat atrophy with replacement of muscle bulk with fat. Thank you.